What it is, what it do, Zeno, we'll see Cruise, your boys, Daddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. We're kind of banging this, it's a muck, bang! Today's ZCC family, we are doing a place called Sheba Hut. First time being here, and um, I didn't know the theme, so um, pretty much what got me coming to this place tonight was, um, it's late night right now, it is, well, not done late, 11.23 p.m., and I was like, you know, got a grind shine, let me go ahead and get a video in. Um, so tomorrow, you know, I can relax and, uh, and chill out. This is um, Halloween Eve, technically, and uh, late night foods to eat, and this place popped up. Not that many places opened, and uh, this is one of the places that popped up, never had before, and I got their spicy sub, which sounded extremely good. Let me tell you everything that's on the spicy. So it's called Cali Mist, and it's a spicy uh, club. Roasted uh, turkey breast, bacon, chipotle mayo, jalapeno, avocado, pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, tomato, onion, pickle, shake, and house dressing. Um, and the total came out to like 26 bucks. I don't have my receipt on me, but 26, and I think I left like a $3 tip. So 26 bucks before tips, and that is with taxes included. And I was able to get a whole sub. I got their uh, nachos. I forgot what their nachos name was called. Let me actually look it up. It's called Loaded Nachos. So it's N-O-T-C-H-O-S. And then I also got a goo ball. And a goo ball includes crispy peanut butter, crispies, which is rice krispies, peanut butter, cocoa, honey, butter, and marshmallows. So um, yeah, really excited. And then also, this is blue Kool-Aid. Let me get a prayer first real quick. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. Now I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name we pray, amen. You guys, this is blue Kool-Aid. So I tasted the blue Kool-Aid when I was there. First, they got tropical Kool-Aid, uh, tropical fruit punch, uh, ras uh, blue raspberry, which is that, and then uh, grape. So I tasted the grape in the, um, in the blueberry, and I was like, oh, this is good. It just needed a tad, tad a bit more sugar. Guys, I, uh, I was looking around at their other drinks. Come to find out, their sugar packets too. I'm like, oh, they knew what they was doing. Hmm. I'm really excited to dive in. Let's go ahead and get our first bite. I feel like this is about to be messy. Let me just grab this one from the back. Um, I feel like I'm gonna eat this. All right, you guys, first bite. I had to do no alterations to it. Get out how it is, and I chose garlic bread. Mm. Pretty good. I started to base it off the first bite. I feel the first bite. It's mostly lettuce and, and bread. I got good more into the guts, but I don't know if you can see by this cup. This place is like a, a weed thing um, restaurant. And it was like, oh, thank you for smoking a, a pot today. And it was like, there's a whole bunch of smoking references and stuff of that sort. Heavy, heavy on the, uh, on the weed smoking at this spot. Um, and the people who work there and all the customers that came in, very much was given very stony, I mean not stony, <laughs> uh, like hippie stone vibes, you know. And it was a nice setup though, it was a nice restaurant. They had a mini bar there. Like, if I were to build a restaurant, it would look like that. Like the, the structure, the layout of it. Obviously not the branding and things of that sort. But it was real nice though. I like the, I like the whole restaurant theme and setup. Mm. Now I'm getting to the goods. And this is good. All their uh, 
I think everything is weed inspired. So I got a 12 inch sub and it's called blunt size. <laughs> you know how I'm. Starbucks, not Xbox Spark Starbucks, but I believe the largest grande. Yeah, the large here is blunt. <laughs> so I got the blunt size uh, sub. Hmm. This is all really good. I love the, I love uh, the the sound. I like the sound just the sound just especially on the website. They made it look super good, and in person, it looks just as good. I love that they got Kool Aid. It's a little nacho. I'm not sure about it. it doesn't have no meat, and then plus the cheese. It's melted on. It's not a nacho cheese, so let's go ahead and try it out. These are Doritos, by the way. Mm. Very cheesy. It's as if, I know she's melted on here, but it's as if these Doritos are like extra cheese Doritos. Very cheesy. Mm, it's crazy. I can see that being good if you have the munchies. Never had the munchies before. I don't know nothing about it, but I know when I do drink, I can't get hungry. And when, I, uh, when I'm drinking, when I get hungry, those will probably be good. <clears throat> Customer service is great now. Honestly, it's a real smooth environment. I'm here thinking. Hold up, everybody's relaxed, happy, having a ball, co-worker, the workers singing um, the songs on a playlist. They had the mini bar people kicking it, turning up. Uh, hold up, did I need to try, did I need to try weed for the first time? <laughs> Will this help relax me, even though I'm not, not relaxed, but I just never had the, um, what is it called? The desire to, to, to smoke anything ever. Believe it or not, I was like really big into like, I wasn't big into sports, I just loved being, I was like being active, you know? And um, when I was younger and um, like the idea of like something contaminating my lungs, I just wasn't going for that. So that's the reason why I never did it. But I'm like, hold up now. Everybody look like having a ball. But nah, I'm 29, went this many years without doing it, why start now? Honestly, if I ever were to indulge, partake, it will probably have, it will probably be edible. Probably be edible. I know, um, um, cannabis is legal here in Las, in Las Vegas, Nevada, and, um, I'm surprised they're not a weed lounge, but I don't think you can have weed and liquor in the same vicinity. Oh, I don't know. They probably can. Don't quote me on that. Because I know there's a rule that came out that had weed, uh, the cannabis lounges had to be a certain distance away from bars. So I wonder if they can serve drinks their own self at a cannabis lounge. I don't know. For all I know, I would say this would be hectic. <laughs> what if this was infused? What if this was edibles? And after this video, I'm high, that'll be hectic. <laughs> I looked all over that menu. There's no warning signs of cannabis infused or whatever. But I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, made their food like that. Mm. 
But no, yeah, if I were ever partake, it'll probably just be an edible. But I find no sense of trying that because um, everyone says that's a whole different type of high, and people prefer the um, the smoking one over edible one. So no, no. I feel like it probably just make me nauseous. <laughs> I feel like I get nauseous over anything nowadays. So, I don't know. But, yeah, no, when I was, uh, that restaurant was real clean. And then also, well, when I was sitting there, it was freezing. Honestly, you guys, it's hectic here. <laughs> this Vegas weather is cold AF. Like, this is ridiculous, re beyond ridiculous cold. Beyond ridiculous, and also, um, I probably just sent a well, first, I'll mention that later, but yeah, it's beyond ridiculous cold here. I think today, right now, it says 49 degrees, right now, 49, and then I was watching the weather. It says supposed to be seventies. It's coming up week. Hmm. You know what? I feel every city says this. Our weather is bipolar. Legit, every city says that. Hmm. You can live in New York, live in Wisconsin, live in uh, Houston, L.A., Florida, North Carolina, South Kentucky, Memphis. Everybody's gonna say our oh, weather's bipolar. Legit, everybody says that. But um, going from 40s to, to 70s, and it's not like low 70s. This says it's going to be like 74, 75, 76. No, nah, that's wild. That's, that's, that's out of order. I don't know if I'm ready for this desert weather, y'all. The heat, I can handle. I'd say I would choose 90s, 100s. I'll even choose 100s over this 40 degree weather. Like a lot of people say these, the hundreds is not bearable. I can, I'll choose the hundreds over 40 degrees, 100%. Mm. And I know this is not the coldest. I left out with shorts to go pick up this food. I'm sitting there like this, I'm trying to warm up. Honestly, it's too cold. Literally drove in my car with the heat on. Literally had the heat on. Heated seats, everything. Had to use it all. Heated steering wheel, turned it on. Everything's on. It was it's pretty dope. And so now I'm trying to be responsible, right? <laughs> so I told you guys how uh, my electric bill was like four high fours, like 450, 470. I think it was like 470. Um, a few months back because I was keeping my temperature at 68. Mind you, I have a, a big, a pretty big house. So, um, it was taking a lot to cool, you know, and still 68, it'll still be kind of warm sometimes. So got $470 bill. Call them like, what's going on? It's got to be wrong. They say, no, yeah, that's right. You know, prices recently went up and then, um, yeah, we recommend you keep it at uh, 78 bet. Okay, whatever. Well, not bet. I wasn't I wasn't happy. I'm like, you want me to keep it pretty much 80 degrees in this house when it's 100 degrees outside. It sounds ridiculous, but whatever. So try that out. Bill did, Laura. Great, whatever. So let, being responsible, I'm like, okay, let me see what's the recommended temperature for um, that they recommend, that my power company recommends for uh, the winter time. Mind you, let me remind you, cool, the cool months, summer months, I mean, during the summer, they recommend 78. During the winter, that's what they recommend. And I was keeping it at 68 during the summer. During the winter, they recommend 68 degrees. <sighs> Think about it. I was keeping it at 68 in this house to keep it cool. Air was running so hot outside. 
and the recommended 78 during the summer. During the winter, to keep your house warm, they recommend turn the heat on 68 degrees. And they said lower it to 50 degrees when you're sleeping, like 55. I'm like, oh yeah, y'all yeah, crazy. They ain't finna have me in here like an igloo. I'm sorry, these, the bills gonna have to go high. But I can handle some heat, but the, uh, not the cold. And I know a lot of people say, you know, with the cold, you can just uh, bundle up. In the heat, you can't take nothing out. You get naked, and if you're still hot, then it's whatever. But uh, I'll take heat over the cold. Well, I don't know. Like, living-wise, obviously, I'll rather live. Like, if I had a bunker, the temperature down there is probably going to be like 50-something degrees, which I'd rather be that than 90 degrees, you know? But, um... Right now, while I have the luxuries of picking my temperature, <laughs> no, this is hectic. This is extremely hectic. Um, yeah, this 58 degrees is not it. Um, whatever temperature it is, it's uh, what's it called? 68 degrees is not it. Let me go ahead and try this goo ball. Man. So, really not a guy to get desserts, but what sold me on it, it has peanut butter in it. So, I don't know, okay. I'm a big peanut butter guy. Reese's Pieces is one of my favorite um, chocolates, that and Snickers. I think Snickers has peanut butter in the suit, don't it? Those are my top two favorite chocolates. Growing up, I'll say it was Snickers over Reese's, but I think now it's Reese's over, over it all. Uh, over Snickers, but Top two, let's try this out. So balled up right crisp rice crispy treat with uh, with peanut butter and and chocolate and a little bit of chocolate flavor. We know you don't see chocolate. Okay, it's the peanut butter and chocolate. And it tastes like a rice crispy. I don't need too much of that. I don't got much to sleep too. Plus, it's 11.40 p.m. I promise y'all, I don't eat this late ever. Only times when I do though, is what I'm drinking. When I'm drinking, I indulge. But, um, you know, if I'm not drinking or kicking it, yeah, I'm not very, I don't eat beyond seven, so. But I like I gave this one an excuse because um, I'm working. So, <laughs> so I'm, it's not too bad. But let me show you guys, I don't know if I showed you guys the inside of this sandwich, because this sandwich looks extremely good. Mm, yeah. I think that sandwich looks extremely good. It was extremely good. 1,000% would go back. 1,000%. Love the place. Love the environment. Um, and actually, they have uh, some good, not too good. They got decent, decent happy hour drinks. But it's not actually not even decent. They only got good beer happy hour drinks. I'm not a beer drinker. Packs on the gut. That's probably how I got the gut in the first place. I was a heavy beer drinker during my college days. I'm saying putting parentheses because I wasn't in college, but I was turning up during my college ages and going to plenty of college parties. And I used to do not, drink nothing but beers. I'm from Wisconsin, that's what we do. <laughs> a lot of beer. But um, 100% go back again. And uh, blue Kool-Aid, the grape Kool-Aid was a hit. I got to taste the tropical, but uh, it was just too cold. I was tasting these drinks and I was getting even colder. I was like, I didn't even want to taste the tropical. Mm. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this meal. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All this is at Chuck Chuck. That is Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-K-C-H-U-N-K. But Z-C-C family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Bye.